Runk. <laughs> Hey guys, we have something really important to announce before we even get into the show, and that is the live show that we are going to be doing. The Lifeline Live show, and it is on October 19th, 6 p.m. Pacific, and why is it October 19th? It's my birthday. It's his birthday show. Uh, we previously we previously announced that we were going to do a live show on Moment, but we realized we we're going to do it our way. That's not happening, but this is October 19th. Watchlifeline.com. That's the website. The live show is us taking live callers. The show will be will be available to watch after it's over, so there is that. But join us live, buy a ticket, join the Discord. We're uh, doing calls uh, all through the Discord, so that's how you do that. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I mean, we wanted to do this for a while now because a lot of times we have more questions for you with the videos that come in, but yeah. we can't ask you. We want to get into it. Yeah, because the videos are just the videos, but this is a live call, so this is going to be great. Interactive, um, back and forth. Can't wait to interact with you guys. Uh, all the links are available on the website, watchlifeline.com. So don't be all like, where do I get it? Tickets uh, are on sale now, $15. And guess what? The price is going up closer to the event. So get it now, dude. Get involved. Call us. Talk to us. And uh, we'll chill. October 19th, my birthday. I'm so young. Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Hello. Recording all around. Recording all around. That's a dildo. I'm recording all around with my dildo. Already crass. One, no. one second in. I did it though. Sorry. Oh, no. That I was did. me. I said dildo. Well, I said the dildo thing first. Yeah, but you set me up and I knocked it on down. Knocked it on down, you know? It's like the home run derby. You so soft toss so me Russian. and I... So Russian. He's like home run derby. <laughs> What's up with the orange shirt? I like it. What's up with it? Is it new or old? It's old, but it's old, but it's new to me. Mm -hmm. uh, got Sounds it pretty good. in Montreal. Oh, really? Bought it yeah, in that's a very French thing to buy, actually. Yeah, uh, this amazing store. Oh, I wish I remember the name it's of it. It's vintage, though. But huh? they had a bunch of old Wrangler shirts. Oh. And I love the Wrangler. Is that a Wrangler shirt? This is a Wrangler shirt. Oh, cool. I got a red Wrangler shirt. I got a blue Wrangler shirt. I got a, a purple Wrangler shirt. And I got a magenta Wrangler shirt. The worst story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> the way you told it to. A children's fucking YouTube show. A children's book. Um, I'm going to take my Pure Spectrum gummies right here. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. And you can, my son just fell <laughs> in the background. He just goes, bonk, ow. So uh, I'm going to take a Pure Spectrum gummy. And you can go to the show notes down there. If you're a, um, if you're a, uh, a guy who enjoys CBD. All biz, huh? And if it helps. Just all biz today? Just go down. I talked about your shirt. Just go down to the show notes and you can click on it and then type in um, Lifeline and uh, get the 10% off. Look at the 10% off. And then you can get the 10% off. No, but your tone was really all oh. biz. Well, I don't uh, know. I was letting, I was letting you see what's up, dude. Well, uh, you, know what about, you know what's up? I had my yeah. first full day of advice sessions uh -huh. yesterday. Yeah. And I was cooking with gas. It was just boom, 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 boom. One after another. I was in the zone. I was okay. fuck. I was fucking kill. I was fucking right. killing it, All dude. Right. And killing everybody was cool. Some serious stuff. Some less serious stuff. But you know what? I love everybody who did it. Wow. They come to me with some seriously secret stuff love close to their heart. You know what I mean? That they don't tell anybody else. Mattelia.com. Get do your you like, appointment. Do it up. Do you like? Uh, do you love everyone? So far, no, no, no. I mean, in general. No, no. You're not one of those guys but that like. I'm one of those people that hates everybody until I meet them. And then I'm like, oh, I like that person. Interesting. But okay. that's like kind of just true in general. Like you get two sides of people on two, into like in a war and they yeah. hate each other, mm -hmm. but then they meet face to face and then they like actually. Minute, we're actually people. We're actually yeah, people. exactly. Yeah. So that's you yeah. whenever you're like somewhere. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh wait, wow. This guy's actually a person. Like a guy who's like in front of me in line who I'm like, I'm like looking yeah. at the back of his ears and yeah. I'm like, I hate his fucking ears. Oh, wow. Something like that, Sleeper, you know? Yeah. And then like I meet the guy and it's like, whole family. I don't even think about his ears, you know? My, uh, I've had things where I don't like somebody and then for, and I know them and then I don't like them and we don't talk for years and then we have a conversation and I'm like, oh yeah, they're just a person. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Uh, that's. But why that's do you not short... like them in the first place? Well, you just if we don't have like... a thing. If we oh, have like oh, a falling oh, out oh. or something, yeah. You got beef? 
I have had beef. Now mm. I have beef with Busy Bone. You know do that. You, do you? Oh yeah. Yeah, Busy Bone. He clapped. He clapped at me, and I would say clap back, but I did not clap at him at first. We. I actually was a witness. Yeah, you were a witness of this. To this, and he came to the yeah. comedy store. Yeah, I mean, I fully remember it because yeah. it was so wacky. Yeah, I'll use the word wacky because it was just a wacky thing that he did. It was wacky, and he and he came up and he was just like, "Pardon my motherfucking interruption," and he kept saying it over and over again, over and no hate, and over and over. It was He's, crazy. He he was interrupting himself to say, "Pardon the, the motherfucking yes, interruption." He was. He and said I know, it at least fifteen times. I know it was so crazy, and I know he's busy bone, but in that situation, he was crazy bone. And yeah. it was so much. And then he clapped at me on his. Why did he? What, what happened? He was like. Back up. Like what well, I talk about this on my podcast. I got break down the whole thing on congratulations. Subscribe, by the way, to Super Cult Studios. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we really appreciate it. And hit that bell notification and all that shit. Yeah, you know talking what I mean? so fast on cooking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so. And so he. Yeah. He came up and interrupted at the comedy store. And then I talked about that on my podcast a long time ago, by the this, way. This also, that was years it was so, ago. It was a decade ago. It, you, maybe, might not, you might not even have had your podcast yet. In fact, you probably didn't. Yeah. I may not It was have. so long. I don't know. But, and then, so he, he did that thing and then I talked about it on my podcast. And then, I mean, this was a while ago, right, bro? And then he just recently, I don't know if it's a podcast or what, but he's been like streaming on YouTube where he's just like, and he and he was like, so I'm gonna talk to you about Chris the bitch. Yeah, I'm not Chris gonna say his name. And um, and he talked shit about me. And he was like, when I, you at my show, I'm in the zone. I can't be giving you. And I'm like, this is not even the fucking story I told. Also, it wasn't his show. It was your show. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. You know why he came up in the first place? No, he came up Faison? to see Faison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was a fan of Faison. Yeah, he's a fan of my. You too, were talking to Faison. I know I was talking to Faze on Love, yeah. He comes up, oh, okay. and the reason he's saying "pardon the motherfucking interruption" right, right. is because he interrupted you and Faze on. Yes. Okay. I know that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know if you knew that. No, I knew that. Okay, but I don't know why he didn't. Th why he thought that I was at his show after hearing my story that legitimately says everything that happened. Oh, because he's crazy bone. He's he's but crazy he's bone busy part bone. two. He's busy being crazy. Busy being crazy bone. Yeah, I mean that was. I didn't even understand. One of you sent me the link. Yeah, and I was like, what? Did something else happen? No, like, but yeah, because it no, was so else obviously. Happened. But I don't. I don't even want to clap back and I'm not clapping back. I'm just like, dude, you just have it wrong and it's fine. And I know that he's like, he's going to clap back again, dude. And I'm not even clapping. He's clapping. I'm not even clapping. He's tremendously wrong. Whatever. Like, that's not even close to right. It's it, wasn't, it wasn't his show. No, I know. I hope his streams go well. He walked up off the street. He had a Walkman, a CD player, Walkman in the 2000s. I, I remember that. You're right. I do remember that. This yeah. was not 1989. Wow. Because he was getting, he was listening to Bone Thugs, dude. I, maybe. Yeah. But I, whatever it was, he had a portable CD player and headphones, like it was 1993, mm -hmm. and he kept saying "part of the motherfucking interruption." Right, I know. So you guys know what happened, and we could probably get Phase on Love to back it up. He doesn't remember; he was high as shit, yeah. no doubt. But, but also, um, yeah, was, but whatever. It was only memorable to me because I was like, "Oh my god, I fucking love him." Yeah, I know, me too, dude. Yeah, but hey, me son, give it up for Chara for CC Gatska. Yeah, for sure. And I gotta miss everybody. You know, gas got it. You know, gas got it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, dude, that's the whole beef thing. You can subscribe to the shit. You get more stories about Busy Bone and also plenty more. But subscribe to Super Cult Studios, and um, and that's it. And and that that you know. I don't know, but it's been so fucking hot in LA, and I'm happy that today is kind of like the most cooling ass day. It's so a cooling far. ass day. It's the most cooling day yeah. for sure that's happened. So I'm happy about that. Um, it was it, it was it was bad. Like it was, it was, it was bad. kind of bad. When you walk outside and you're mm -hmm. just like, mm -hmm. your anger is just oh, you're angry at, tipping. I mean, it's you're just, angry. It's at the tipping point. You're angry at some guy's ears. So yeah, you're definitely angry at the the tipping point of anger. Hello, I'm Matt. A, a just, Denzel Washington movie in 1999. It's just immediate. The tipping point of anger is where I'm at. A Gene Hackman movie. The tipping point of anger. So so clunky and so long. And he plays a fucking <laughs> submarine general, you know? The tipping I point mean, of anger. I mean, explaining Crimson Tide. Yeah. Denzel Washington. And, yeah, there we go. See? He gets his jokes from somewhere, babies. All right, dude. Well, I'm going to be in Stockton and Oakland, California, and Hollywood, California, and Oxnard, and all that shit. Go to chrislea.com uh, for tickets. I'm going to be in Raleigh. I'm going to be in Boston, a, a plethora of places, and Albany. So go to chrislea.com to get tickets and uh, check out my tour vlogs. All right, let's do it. You want to get in? Yeah, Into so it? much. Looks like Barney's going to unplug the camera, but oh, yeah, that's no all doubt. good. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. There's yeah, a dog the dog, standing a dog. Barney in the, the middle of a bunch of cords, him. and he's kind of frozen, and he's going to do okay. something. Here okay. we go. Okay. It's all good. What's up, you guys? What's up? Big fan of the show. Nice. Uh, I got a quick question for you. 
um, about a year ago, I got into an argument with my girlfriend's best friend's husband. Okay. And uh, it was over the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and I had made some comments about how I didn't like them, and okay. he took really personal offense to it. Okay. I kind of spiraled out of control, and <laughs> I was trying to make light of the situation. But um, anyways, he got really offended, and I made some comments that ended up my girlfriend and I – stormed out and, come on um long story short i haven't talked to him in about a year oh and um, we've got a wedding coming up that we're uh gonna see him at and uh, i'm not hi. sure how to actually approach the situation or say hi or you know what i should do so uh if you got some advice let me know i got it i got it i got more. it 100 percent. no i got, it, I got it i got the m- number one thing that you i got could it possibly more do. but first just be real quick okay was that me because i would have reacted that way too if he said i don't like the red hot chili peppers i would have eviscerated him as a person on earth, I would have torn to shreds his oh, appearance. Wow. I would have torn to shreds his past, You're his fat. history. <laughs> uh, but go ahead. You, you go uh, ahead. I have the answer. Go to the wedding. Look, you don't want to, you don't want to fucking, you don't want to live with this shit. It's so annoying. Also, who gives a fuck who likes the red hot chili peppers or not? Mm. If you don't like the red hot chili peppers, fine. You know, he does, obviously, and he's very passionate about it. Now, that's so fucking dorky that he would let, he would be so angry that you said you didn't like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm. I don't know what your side of the street in all of this is, but I will say this. At the wedding, you don't want to, you don't want to fucking, you don't want it to be weird. You're going to end up seeing him again. Mm. So just squash the beef, and this is how you squash it. You have dinner, all this shit. You go up to the band or the DJ or whatever, and you say, play under the bridge. Yeah. Okay. Is this what you were going to say? This is, but I, I was going to say it different. You do your version. I'll do Play that. under the bridge. And then when it happens, you guys will 100% make eye contact. And when you do, it will be one of the most beautiful things. You walk out to the middle of the dance floor and you go like this and you wait for him. Mm-hmm. And while he walks up to you, just, I don't ever want to feel yeah. like I did that day. It's very, very, very symbolic, right? Yeah. Take me to the place I love. Yeah. That's good. I like That's mine. A great one. I like mine. Mine's it's similar. Great okay. You walk up to him right away, first time you see him. Yep. And you just start doing it. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Eye contact. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like my only friend. You're getting closer. Yeah. Is the guy in front of me? You make up the lyrics, right? And then you're talking about him, and then you're getting closer and you give him a hug. He will not ever, it will all crumble his his anger. Well, so we have very similar. So that's good. Mine's just more personalized. But mine is more, is nice because like he set it up. He said, you know what, dude, I want the the fucking guy to put red hot chili peppers on Mm. the shit. Mm. Or you can just go, you know, play the other one. What I got, I got to give a put it in. Yeah. And then just have a fucking. (laughs) A badass time and look at the dude and start dancing and give really it away, make it like, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, you don't want to have that sex man. magic, a sex magic. I know two songs from them, and it's the ones I sang. Oh, um, and so yeah, was I, that give it away that you were trying to do? What I gotta gotta put it, put it in you, yeah. give okay. it away, give it away, give yeah, it away. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, it yeah, was yeah. that, and it was obvious because yeah. I did it good. I couldn't tell because you didn't do it that good. You couldn't tell because you don't know music, but I do. No, I know if dude. I'm about oh, to but rage I know. on you like what the I guy gotta, that gotta he's get talking about. You. That's what he says. Yeah, but you didn't have the right rhythm. It was just I off. did, dude. I thought you were mixing up two different songs. No. And so, I mean, so hard, so easy to not mess that up, dude. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. What I got to gotta get to put it in you. You didn't say give it away. You didn't say that part. Because I did the fucking nice, like, the nice. part that, like, we, that, like, you'd know. Like, I didn't want to do the obvious one. Oh. If I just did give it away, give it away, give it away now, that's hacky shit. But I wouldn't have asked, was that give it away? Because you did it bad. Because you're not on the level. <laughs> give me the dude, orange one. Give but what I'm one. saying, give it an orange one, give it an orange one, give it an orange <laughs> one. So, um, yeah, dude, I'm telling you, dude, uh, you don't want to do that. Squash the beef. At least do it for your girl and your and her best friend. So just fucking tell him to play under the bridge. And you will make eye contact. If you don't, you walk up to him and you make eye contact with him. And then yeah. you grab his hand, you walk him to the dance floor, and then you do a slow dance with him. I mean, you don't have to get too close, right? I mean, but yours like, is more spectacle. Mine's more person to person. So it's up to you. If you're more of okay. like, you like to make a show out of it, do what he said. Yeah. If you're more like a one-on-one kind of guy, you do what I did. I think I'll appreciate the spectacle of it. But anyway. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Next one. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. I adore Hello. you guys to pieces. Aww, so my question is, my husband has an idea for a documentary. Mm. And I need to know if it's absolute trash or if you love the idea. So essentially, it's the rise and fall of Brendan Fraser. 
Oh. The catalyst being his absurd clap at the Golden Globes. I mean, is that why Should I tell him that he's an insane person or is this a low-key genius idea? Let me know. No, Bye. that well, he's a crazy person for sure. But uh, if there's a documentary I would watch, it's that one. Yeah, but you'd have to. It can't be about the fucking no. Clap. But you could center it around the. It's, it's when he goes like. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, we both did it at the same time. You know the fucking. Uh, uh, yeah. The, uh, Remember the, when it when it went to the the, uh, Gwen Stefani song. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was just gonna say. You gotta find back that girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up, find that girl. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love that. I've watched that. At least 50 times. How about the standing ovation that he got for 15 minutes? It's everyone loves that he's fat, a fat guy now. He's been fat for a few years, but he yep. keeps getting fatter and fatter. And every time he shows up, everyone's like, oh my God, Brendan Fraser's so fat now. And, and of course, I mean, I wanted to do it, but Darren Aronofsky beat me to it because whatever, he's right, obviously right. a huge filmmaker. Uh -huh. um, uh, the resurgence of Brendan Fraser as a fat man. He's in a movie called The Whale, as and he has a fat suit on. Oh. Now get this fat people. Are mad well, yeah, that at, that they didn't he, Aronofsky didn't cast an me. actual six hundred pound person, but Brendan Fraser's fat as fuck. I mean, He's already fat. What six hundred pound actors are there? They don't exist. Yeah, exactly. Which is why it's absurd. Can we get to the audition room? You find a six hundred pound person, you just put him through acting school and shit. Yeah, they, 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 they fucking die in the middle of shooting. Yeah, I mean it's just so unhealthy. You can't actually get someone who's six hundred pounds uh, to show up on set. Yeah, well, of course they're mad, dude. Yeah, um, but that's a loot. That is. The most ludicrous version of it I've ever. Oh, heard. really? I mean, there's there so is many. There's no crazy one who is 600 pounds. Okay, fine. I that mean, can sure. move. Okay. Yeah. True. Okay. A 12 hour shooting day. That's yeah. That, that with like a tyrannical director like Darnowski, yeah, they yeah, die. Yeah. That, that yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm action. Saying. He just goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> with a roast beef sandwich on the side of their face. <laughs> so dick. All right. So I think that uh, don't do that documentary. Maybe. I mean, didn't he? He he left Hollywood because he got like assaulted or something i can't really remember that's not why but he when, when me too happened he came forward with a story of his own he got like uh i think like disgustingly groped or oh. something by some executive at mm -hmm. some i don't know i actually don't know who it yeah. was i don't think he even said but he talked about like the trauma of it and how it like messed up his mind for a while oh, wow so he stopped working and and now he got a 15 minute dude if i was well i mean he stopped working because he was in monkey bone let's get that straight he didn't stop wow, i don't working even know what that is because he got groped he stopped working because he was in eight movies like monkey bone yeah okay cool okay a M yeah and george of the jungle and right. every other did movie that, that he did did that, that fail george of the jungle yeah. it wasn't the worst of a monkey bone was like it made 28 bucks because just his well, mom, i don't even know what the fuck monkey bone just is. because mrs fraser went to see I mean, it you can't know? stop doing movies about animals you know he can't stop doing movies where there's like a little bit of it is also animation. That's his thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> dude, uh, I but the whale, dude, I mean, I legit love Brendan Fraser. I'm so happy he's in a new okay. movie, especially an Aronofsky movie. Mm. I want to see it. You're too late though. He's already made his comeback. True. I don't think it's- but I think I want to a... document through his comeback, starting with the clap. Oh, oh, oh. Through his comeback. Oh, so, so like it was comeback. a fateful day, and he just goes, it was a fateful day. <laughs> Fucking in gray, and then it yeah, goes Yeah, right, yeah. It was a fateful day. Said. Yeah, she did. She said, this is about his fall. Right. I rise and fall. She said rise and fall. Fall. Oh, the rise would, to be, fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think oh, he has two. it all wrong. Oh, oh, from the beginning yeah, that, to the clap. That's yes, even worse. That's not good. It needs to be, the yeah. clap needs to either be the turning point or the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then it just fucking like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude so bad yeah dude your boyfriend is or your husband's bullshitting or he's crazy he's crazy and yeah. that's a terrible idea yeah. look he, he, these two things can be true at the same time it's a terrible idea for a documentary mm -hmm. but i want to see it yeah true okay Good. yeah i mean so, i see plenty of those documentaries don't make it be waste of time we'll lose a ton of money mm -hmm. lose a ton of years of your life but but i will it. watch it i'll be first in line to watch yeah. it all right cool yeah tell him he's crazy next one <laughs> Hey. What's up, Matt and Chris? Wasn't she? Um, yeah. Uh, lifeline. Um, first of all, submission videos are weird. I'm suddenly doing hand gestures and saying things yeah. and doing things with okay. my body that I've never done in my whole life. So, so it so brings strange. out a whole new side of me. Um, I wrote in a couple months ago, Norma June yeah. from Southern Oregon. Oh, I was yeah. asking about a breakup and you guys gave great advice. Like I am time, feeling right? a lot no. better. And for real, for real, that advice my life is now pimping, pimping for oh. real, for real. I have another question. I post things on my Instagram, 
like a normal person, like in my story. And I find it so incredibly strange when someone brings up things that I post on Instagram in real life. Oh, I'm like, dude. what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Why the fuck would you bring up what I posted on my Instagram story? Good, That's good. weird as shit. Good, good, good. Is that just me? No, no. Is there like a, is there a rule? Yeah. I think there should be a rule. There is. Advice. Dude, uh, that is so something that is, for me, it happens every oh, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Hey, uh, how's the thing that you did with the thing on, you know, on Instagram? I'm just, it's, it's, it, you, for some reason, it's uncomfortable. Do you even, rem my thing is, if people do that to me, I don't even remember. Because oh, well, often. a story often, yeah. is like, I forget about it five seconds after yeah. I posted it. Yeah. And if you bring that up the next day, I'm no. like, what are you talking if about? If you say that to me, hey, I, I, I go like this, ah, 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 ah. Keep it on the internet, dude. Right. Just, uh, that is weird for some reason. And people, I think actually people feel that. More people feel what you're saying. Mm. I think more people feel what you're saying than what, than you know. But I think that when they see you, that's what they bring up and they don't even realize that they're doing it. That's what I think. That's complicated. You do? I think people are just, have no sense of what's good to bring up and what's not good to bring up. But that's up. kind of, yeah, they're just bringing it up. Because it's on their the, mind. It's like you have red shoes and they're like, nice shoes. Yeah. Dude, they're like, they're yeah, just red, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that is, I I don't like that either, dude. You're, and you're, I, I think about it sometimes and I don't know why I don't like it. Because it's like, in a way, it's like you're you're sitting and you're doing your personal shit. You're at home. And in a way, you're you're giving people a glimpse into your life. But it's a bit of a voyeuristic thing. So when you get confronted with yeah. it, like, oh, you're on the couch watching fucking reruns of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Family matters. And yeah. you're like. Oh yeah, well you do it too, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you I want to get defensive about it. It's also like, I mean, it's not similar to this, but it, it's along the lines of like if Genocide. you were in uh, a movie, yeah, and someone's like, "Oh, what about that role you played in that movie?" It's like, "Uh huh, it's oh. over and it's out there." Like mm. now, what do you want me to say about it? What do you? I don't understand what you're saying though. Why? Why if, is that like that? Because if someone comes up to you, right, and is oh. like, "What about that thing you were yeah. in?" It's also annoying. Like, it's just, people don't do that because they know that that's fucking annoying. So then, well, so then what's the thing that people should be saying to you when they see you? Nothing about that. And what should they be saying? Like, how are you? How Anything. have you been? But Anything? What, it's more about what she should be mm. saying. And what she to should be saying it. is, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Let me, let me stop you right there. I don't want to talk about that. But that's so, people think that's rude. I mean. Yeah. You got to just be you, I guess. Or just act like they didn't say it. Sometimes I do ah. that. Sometimes I do that and like it sounds rude, but yeah. if it seems like you didn't even hear them, mm. it it you can play it like it never happened. Mm. And then the person will realize, oh, he's doing me a favor. That mm. wasn't going to be good for him yeah. to talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sure. It's yeah. like people pick up on that stuff. Wow. And then if they do it again, then they're out of your life for good. Never wow. You're see them. Throat, dude. Never see them again. You're if they do it again. Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. About social situations, I'm. Paul I'll Pot. cut that. Paul Pot of social situations. I'll cut that like. Tss, okay. You know? Mr. Take May. Speaking of Paul Pot. Just uh, kidding. Uh, just uh, kidding. Uh, uh. All right. Here we go. Hey, man. Chris. How's it going? Greetings from Buxton, Maine. Huge fan of Lifeline. You guys are the best. The advice is too funny. It's too perfect. Yeah. Keep it coming. Why is it going to uh, My like question that? is a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's, and it's about my dad, who is also crazy. <laughs> okay. And he is super into this holistic healing. Oh. It's called Body Code. Body Please code. don't endorse it or ever fucking tell anybody fucking to look into it because it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Body Code. And what, basically he thinks that he is some sort of superpower healer Oops. and can magically heal any I mean, problem this is a Lorenzo that you have, Lamas whether movie. it be Body a tummy code. ache or you're fucking blind. And what? all he does is he closes his eyes uh -huh. He mutters this incantation and he has to be standing up and then he like waves his hand over his head three times like that and poof, like you're supposed to be healed. And I fucking like, just don't buy it at all. I light yeah, into no it. Shit. I'm like, I make fun of him. I call him Dumbledore. Oh, good. I tell him that he forgot his fucking wand. And I like, I, my sister thinks he kind of got a little butt hurt because I was like mean to him or whatever. But I'm blunt and I like to say what I, I think. Mean, and you know, if I think code. that you're full of shit and that you're not helping anyone, I'm gonna fucking tell you. So 
I don't know, should I like back off and stop making fun of him? No. Should I like pretend like maybe there's a chance he is actually no. helping people? Oh my god, the worst no. idea. Should I fucking spin move and tell him you're not fucking Dumbledore? Yeah. Like, yeah. Get real. Like this shit isn't fucking real life. I don't know. Any advice helps. Let me know. Thanks. Remember you, you said the thing about Beetlejuice? Yeah. Maybe the incantation was Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice <laughs> and his did, head shrank. Maybe he did a body code on you. Yeah. Right, I mean, the yeah. whole thing is a, is a fucking Eric Roberts movie, dude. It's, like body code. It's called body code. He thinks he can heal people. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, body I love, code. I do love Eric Roberts. I would. That's another movie I would watch. Oh, I would. If body code was a movie, I would have already watched right, it. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, fucking fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, but look, Eric your Robert's dad, hair, you know? is crazy yeah that's uh, yeah he's got i mean i hate to say it and i know doctor but you know that's kind of a meant those are mental that's mental problems your dad is there's a book, out of his mind the body code unlocking your body's ability to heal itself oh my god written by fucking eric roberts in 1998 well, look, if that was adapted into a movie if it was picture. that easy everyone would do it yeah this that's would the thing catch, about shit like that oh you can cure stomach aches yeah. just going like this one dollar one dollar one dollar yeah and then dude, one dollar mm, whatever the fuck dude it, it, and then i'm like oh shit my, my fucking stomach doesn't hurt anymore I, I wanna, everyone would do that ask him what his response is why has this not caught on like wildfire or why doesn't that work on the stomach ache i have that you just tried it out on me for like, i would like to know him, the, the answer yeah have him do it to you and they'd be like, okay, I still have the thing. Now what? What's your yeah. explanation for that? He'll probably say, well, you don't believe then. Okay, well, uh, find someone who believes yeah. and then do it to them. I want to watch. They might think it works, you know? You know, I think my stomach feel, actually does feel a little bit. Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Like you think you have, like the, you, right. you yeah. want it to be better. So yeah, of course. You know what? I think it, I mean, how Well, that's all like long. all of a lot of religion anyway, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, like speaking in tongues and shit wow. like that, you know? Of all the things to call it to, body code is absolutely it's wild. fucking terrible. Body code is so, doesn't sound like that's what it is no. at all. No, But I think that you should, honestly, I think you should sit him down and be like, all right, dad, I know I made fun of you and maybe it was over the line, but I want you to explain to me why you think this works. Mm -hmm. Give him a shot to hear him out. You're going to end up where you are anyway, but he'll at least feel heard. Right. And it means your dad. You don't want to like, yeah, yeah, messed yeah, up yeah, the whole yeah. relationship. Yeah. You know? Also, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, dude, I can't even. Well, you know. See, this is the thing about the internet. You don't even know these people are out there doing this shit, and now we do, and it makes me actually sad, dude. Oh, it doesn't make me sad. I love it doesn't it. make you sad. No, I, I, I like it. If somebody believes in body code, then they're obviously not he mentally healthy. Well, I agree. Right? Obviously, I agree. And but, they're in some kind of turmoil. But most people are. I know. I know. It's just true. Unhealthy. Most people are on the brink of some kind of madness, dude. People Damn, don't dude. think about this. People think everybody's out there being normal. Everyone's like, why can't I just live a normal life? Yeah. Nobody does. Yeah, I know. I Everyone know. is either fucked in their life or yeah. fucked in the head or both. I know. It's very, very rare that someone's like actually got their shit together, mm -hmm. is completely sane, has no like deep trauma from their past. Yeah. Everybody's fucked up. Yeah. But like... That's why it doesn't make me sad. This guy being fucked up in this way at least brings me entertainment. Well, you here's know? the thing. If he realized that he was in uh, trauma and deep turmoil and mentally unstable, then he could do body code on himself mm. and get better. But he can't. And he doesn't even realize it. So this guy's so deep. He's deep in some sort of mental you know, unevenness and then also can't even realize it and then also can't use the thing he's made up and body code himself out of that. And if he did, he'd realize that it wasn't even a real thing to begin with. It's like Inception. Wow. Do you know uh, what I'm saying? Also, though... Now, that's a movie and that's a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal, though. That's a, a better movie. <laughs> in a simpler way, uh, he is fucked up. Mm -hmm. He has some kind of sanity issue or like his life is fucked up, mm -hmm. didn't go the way he wants. His mind has been bent and tested throughout his whole life. Therefore, he believes in a thing like body code. Right, right. That's right. how that goes. Yeah. Because uh, you got it. Because it's easier I wish to, there was to, something. to dive into that than actually face the fact this that This is why life I sucks. say that on my podcast recently, I was like, I, I wish I was religious so I had something to fucking believe in and know that everything was going to be okay. But in actuality, what I have to deal with is my shit. Mm -hmm. I have to fucking let these walls down mm -hmm. and deal with my shit. Mm -hmm. And there's no hiding from it, mm -hmm. you know, unless you are trying to not be a real person. If you could figure out a way to... But then all of a sudden, you're a body code motherfucker. People always say things like, you know, uh, society, communities fall apart when there is no more religion, when God is dead. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you can't put the 
it's Pandora's box. This shit's out in the yeah, open. Right. We all understand that there is no God. Right. Like we can't just pretend now, even yeah. if that there, there's truth to that. Mm. Society falls apart when no one believes in God anymore. Well, well, we got to figure that shit out then because nobody can pretend. Oh, well now, I mean, I know that there's no God, but oh, okay, okay. Let me just figure out a way to believe in this book that talks about God. Is body code and the miracles answer? and shit. Maybe, maybe body code is the answer. Society will fall apart if there is no... If there is no God, but there is no God, so we have resulted in using body code. Yeah. Society yeah. will fall apart if we don't use body code. Now body come here. Code. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. <laughs> and then you're rich. One dollar, one dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. You're rich. You do it enough. No, but uh, <laughs> seriously though, one, body code is is the answer. Okay. There was religion before. Now there's body okay, code. Cool. Great. Great. That's the sequel. Your dad is the new Jesus. Okay, cool. Frank Christ. <laughs> hey Matt. Hey Chris. Hey. It's Kay here. It, so my question is, it, how do I go nice. about negotiating for a higher salary huh? when I'm receiving job offers? I have the skill set, I have the background, I have the education, and I have the work ethic to back up being paid more. I just don't know how to ask without asking plainly. Can I have more money, please? So any help would be greatly appreciated. Fuck. Thanks. Bye. It Honestly, the way she just said that was was literally yeah. perfect. Yeah. She's she's so like like her her manner is so pleasant. Chill. All she needs to do is literally say that. form it sure that in a little yeah, exactly. So I look at my if you can say like it that. exactly like that to an employer, that's how you do it. Yeah. That that was good. Mm -hmm. And I understand it's hard I, when you're actually in the room across from an employer. It is, I know, but, but that's the thing. That's it. What you just you've got to deal with that. That's one of your uh what do you call it? Paths. You got to deal with that because it's uncomfortable and you're not going to be somebody out there using body code on yourself to try and get through it. You got to deal with these emotions. This is something that you need. How about that? You need to ask for that. Mm. And I fucking, by the way, love it. Can I have more money, please? She said, that's, but that's hilarious. Can I have more money? Great. <laughs> so this is my salary. Can I have more money, please? That would be a fucking, if I was your boss, dude, like, yeah, you forget gotta it, You got to raise, yeah. Um, no, but for real though, what you just said, the way you talked about yourself, it's all... It's all ra wrapped into mm. that right there. That's yeah. all you got to do. Yeah. Figure out how to say that yeah. to an employer. Uh, maybe don't yeah. show them that video because it said D's nuts on the yeah, back wall. Yeah, maybe D's nuts might be distracting, yeah. but you um, know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a great one. She's, yeah. She, yeah okay, she's going to get the raise. She's going to get Yeah, stop. she's going to get it. Yeah. But just, just, it's about, like you were saying, you just got to push through right. the fear of asking. You deserve it. You know you deserve it. You're qualified. You know you're qualified. You have the experience. You know you have the experience. All you got to do is say what you just said to us, to yeah. the employer, get through that initial like fear. And once you're saying it, once you've opened your mouth and begun saying it, it's easy from there. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. about starting opening like the, the seal. Yeah, you, you don't want to be somebody seal, who doesn't you know? speak up and yeah. shit. Go. So there we go. All right. Next. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. Allie right. here from North Carolina. So I have more of like a question or a request. Um, me and my sister are really close, my oldest sister. So I'm the youngest. So obviously I've never had an original thought in my life. Of course. But I have her to thank for my humor, my music taste, all of that. She really just molded me into the woman I am today. And I was thinking about her Christmas gift. And she loves Chris and Matt. She loves Chris's stand up. Um, I wanted to get her the oops button yeah. and you don't sell it anymore or either it's not on your site anymore. Uh, I don't know. Are you going to sell those yeah. again? If you are, will you let me know? Yeah, we are. Uh, anyways, guys, life rips. Thank you so much. Just let me know. Bye. We are selling them again. Uh, we just, we ran out and then we're restocking. But her voice is the most amazing voice I've ever heard on anyone. Can uh, she sing? She could sing. I have actually advice. She also on top of the oops button, get like, Maybe a picture, a high res picture of me, nah, and blow it up like a poster yeah. for her room. I, th I think she would like that. And the oops, uh, yeah. And then when she gives it to her, you fucking press the oops button because that's a fucking horrible. No, 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 no. Just, just do both. Oops. <laughs> In her accent, I, that voice was amazing. Was if she a, can't sing, just, what a waste. It's just dude. a North Carolina accent. What's your? What's it wasn't. Going on? It was very sultry. She was just whisper. She had a lower tone, lower See, lower volume. He, he doesn't get it. I get it. She I did have a it, nice dude. voice, but you're acting like she, it's like no, but, fucking. The it was a beautiful, beautiful thing in the world. I tell you, if she can't sing, she should have. It's too late now. She's, you know what I mean? What but does that have to do with singing? If too? she was nine and worked on it, dude, she would be fucking absolutely. She wouldn't be doing having a speaking voice doesn't mean you have a great singing voice. That's not how that works. But I'm, it does. It, but that kind of speaking voice, dude, if she just sang a little bit of Happy Birthday, Mr. President, or something like that. 
Oh, I mean, like a sexy thing? A very sultry, doesn't have to be dude. Well, that was. Oh, yeah, that was. But like, under okay, the, she could also bridge? be like, well, I don't ever want to be like I did that day. I don't want to feel. Whatever it is, you know. Yeah. I'm sure she likes the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but that was amazing, dude. Also, I'll be in North Carolina, North Kakalaki, uh, <laughs> Ra- Raleigh, if you want to come out and see me, get tickets at crystalia.com, Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, let's do it. Next. Get her that for Christmas. Her birthday. Oh, I thought it was Christmas. Oh, hey, maybe. Chris and Matt. My name's Audrey. Hi, Audrey. I live in Clarksville, Tennessee. I moved here three months ago from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I like it here because everybody seems to be a little bit more like on the moderate path of thinking, which is just more my brand. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'm a barber and kind of my gimmick. I mean, yeah, I deliver a great haircut, but also part of my gimmick is that like I'm a comedian. People laugh. Oh. I've had some coworkers... One coworker complained that <clears throat> I guess some of my jokes made some clients uncomfortable. Boo. How do you strike a balance between making like an abrasive joke, but mm. also not taking away inherently like the liberation I feel like that comes along with being able to be a comedian? Like, I don't want to dumb down my comedy just because like people are offended. I mean, Anyways, okay. you are a barber, not a comedian. Yeah, well, that so this is why there. this is why I wouldn't do anything but be a comedian because I couldn't. Like, if you put me in a regular job, I'm getting fired immediately because I made an off-color joke, right? So, but she said abrasive. I mean, how abrasive are we talking about? Like, you call like, people fucking, fat? She's like, "There's oh, your hair, fucking blacks." Like what? Uh, how? How? Like just like my son's here. Actually, yeah. w- w- how abrasive are you being? You know, Asians can't drive, right? Just yeah, f- you know what I mean. Like, just how like, bad uh, are we talking? About? <laughs> Ha uh, ha, an Asian. Okay, but I think the way I the way to think of it is that you are actually a barber, not a comedian. I don't want to so, dumb down my comedy. Like, you know, lead. You have to lead with being a barber. If mm. people in the shop are getting uncomfortable because yeah. your jokes are so, over some line that pe- are making people uncomfortable, you don't. You shouldn't think of it like. Oh, I don't <laughs> sacrifice my comedy. You have to think of it like, oh, I'm a barber. I got to scale it back a little bit. You know? I, I, I got fired from being a barber. Why? Because they wanted me to sacrifice my comedy. Yeah, it just doesn't like... You, 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 you know what we're saying. Yeah. Like, it doesn't line up. You, for, you it's know? just the unfortunate fucking thing here that you got to deal with. You are you could get fired. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're going to get fired. There's HR. You're, yeah, you're going to get fired. You're going to get fired if you keep doing you gotta it. You got to clean it up, dude. Yeah, you got to clean like, it up. Like the floor at the end of the fuck... The floor at the end of the haircut... You got to clean it up, same, dude. Yeah, same idea, yeah. You know? You got to clean up because if you don't clean up, you're going to get fired. You don't clean up the hair, you're going to get fired. You mm-hmm. don't clean up your potty talk, you're going to get fired. Yeah. Although we are dealing with somebody in Clarksville. Take that the last, last train oh. to Clarksville. I'm not leaving. I'm I didn't leaving. Know you know that? You know that stuff? It's the monkeys, right? It's the monkeys, yeah. yeah. dude. Come on, man. It's actually, I think they're doing a cover of it, but yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's, yeah. Here we come, walking down the street, never day alone, done time, wow. when we meet. Wow. Get the funniest looks from Oh, okay. Well, so she is um, going to have to sacrifice some of her comedy to be a better barber. I'm sorry, but that's what it's going to be. And do all your... You know what? How about this, dude? How about this? Do open mics. Go and perform. Do actual comedy. Use your use that as your outlet for your comedy because once I started doing that, I'll tell you what, in my real life, I got way less annoying to people mm-hmm. because I was I had an outlet to do my comedy, right? Mm-hmm. And now I'm still very annoying. And Matt can vouch for this. Yeah. But I used to be more annoying. I used to be doing bits and shit. Now I don't. I do. I say the bits for the stage, and I'm more of a person in real life. Because you don't want to hide behind your comedy. I did that for a long time, and it really fucked me up. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, just you could still be like the funny barber, but don't make jokes that could be offensive. Just, just like not a good idea for a barber. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. you are already Vidal Sassoon, and you can say whatever you want. Yes. You know, I'm Paul Mitchell. Right. Whatever. But like, you're not. You're a barber, and you shouldn't be making jokes that are going to offend people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Matt and Chris, what's going on, guys? A guy from Guess Who. I'm so glad that you guys got together to finally collaborate on something. Um, Anyways, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I don't think this is allowed, but I have an advice for you, Chris, really quickly. Uh, Matt might be doing you dirty a little bit. Mm. Every time you promo your hats, you're saying you're not a hat guy. I used to have long hair myself. Tuck the hair behind the ears, bro. Me? You're gonna look. You're gonna Me? look killer. It's gonna change your entire. Matt does it, and he hasn't been telling you. He oh, has not been oh, helping oh. you out. I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna change the game. Do we have a hat. Here? Hope we it helps. Love you guys, gang, gang. I don't have a hat. 
Do I have a hat? I don't know. Do you have a hat? You know, no, why I ask me? I'm not the hat keeper. No hats? I would have tried it. But I don't. Here's the thing. And I, I know this. I, I, I get it's it. It's different. He, he doesn't understand. This guy doesn't understand. Okay. Dude. Well, it's what? You just. Some people don't look good in hats. Yeah, that's me, dude. I know. And you've said that on this he podcast understand- before? No, I've never said that. I'm saying it now. It's my oh. coming out party. Uh, <laughs> he brought it out of me, you know? But no, that's not... This guy... You don't understand, dude. Oh, what? This guy doesn't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Oh! Nice throw. A- oh, okay. Well, you don't make that face. Don't make that face when you put it on. Hey, am I not a hat guy? You look like an undercover cop now. You look like an undercover cop, you know? Hi, guys. Did you like to buy any drugs? (laughs) (laughs) Hello, men. I mean, a robot. A robot. Yeah, but I know what he's saying, but it still uh, still looks so bad. (laughs) I look even worse. Loosen it, you know? Hey, sir. Hi, sir. Any drugs going on in this area? I'd like some. (laughs) Remember the yarmulke with the brim, the, Way- the Wayans movie? No, what? Looking like a, well, you got a yarmulke with a brim. Oh, yeah, while we laughed at that. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, doing any shootings? Let's see. Look at me. No, it's bad. You're wrong. Oh, guys. You're doing wrong. any shooting? Any planned shootings coming up, guys? <laughs> Gun falls out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice toss, though. Yeah, you guys right, both cool. got golden arms. That was yep. good. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, dude. I, I just don't look good in a hat, man. I'm sorry. I wish I did. I look fine in a beanie, but it's always too hot for a fucking yeah, beanie. Yeah, I can't wear that many beanies in LA. Yeah. All right. Unless you're me. Hi, boys. So I have an ex from several years ago that was recently murdered by his ex-girlfriend. Hold on. Stop Not it. me. Wait a minute. Her ex was murdered? By his ex-girlfriend? Is that what she just said? Whoa, dude. Why are you not reacting? I am reacting. That's how you react. Mm-hmm. Stillness. That's good. It's That's... good for acting. I'm like Al Pacino. You're Robert De Niro right now. Start it over, please. That's insane. She's talking. I'm like, I need oh, to hear... wow. She murdered him. And you're like, bah, 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 I need to hear bah. it again. All right. Okay. And this is her in Hi, boys. So I have an ex from several years ago that was recently murdered by his ex-girlfriend. Not me. Another one. Okay. And um, honestly, it was probably deserved. Uh, oh. He... Oh. Yeah. Um, oh. Was I was shocked, obviously, that when I found out, but not terribly sad. I went to the funeral, cried a little bit, moved on with my life. Uh, it was fine. Like, I didn't really feel sadness. I think that was normal because it was so long ago and it was like a short passionate thing when I was young um but it's been a month and I have been having nightmares about him being murdered and other terrible things like that and then the next day just is consumed by me thinking about that dream Mm -hmm. and I cannot uh I don't know what to do to make it stop because it keeps happening and it's a lot so if you could help me out with what I need to do in my head thanks Uh, I mean, I think honestly, I don't, I'm not even qualified to give proper advice for something like that. I think what you're experiencing though is probably extremely common when this, something like this happens. I mean, maybe it's like you didn't really process it when it happened, when you heard about it through the funeral, maybe you weren't crying because you were too much in shock. Yeah. And now it's like your brain is sort of working its way through it. You didn't deal with it. In your subconscious, whatever you want to, whatever you believe about dreams, you could be just your jumble of thoughts bouncing off of each other when you go to sleep and your brain runs wild. What I would say is I think there's like, I don't know the names of them. There, there's like groups for people who get together KKK. about about loved ones who have, Black or Pan- former loved Black ones Panthers. who have died oh. uh, or, or been killed or in some horrible circumstance. I would, I would recommend looking into that because Cincinnati they're going to have way better advice than either one of us could possibly uh, dude i just think that you're not dealing with this shit and that's why you weren't sad in the funeral and then that's why you're having dreams because it's going to come out either way through your eyes or through your fucking sleep you know your mind and during your sleep and you got to deal with this shit because uh, i can tell already by the way she's talking about it and like you said you're not qualified to talk about it but i am because i'm a comedian and like i see her face talking about it and like dude this is a painful fucking thing man it was I mean, very loaded when she said yeah yeah, yeah he, he deserved, deserved it, it. yeah i mean there's pause. so much to unpack here dude it was you, a pause and she almost got someone. into it yep and she didn't, didn't look into that maybe a yeah. little bit 
But uh, you got to see a therapist. Yeah, I there's think. something BetterHelp.com, dude. Something uh, or Mattelia.com, frankly, just kidding. Well, uh, that's no, not really the ideal yeah. one for me. Uh, um, yeah. Wow. Wow, though. Wow. That's fucking heavy. I don't know if we ever had one like that. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, so far, but yeah, that's crazy. Uh, go see a one hundred percent. Go see a therapist. Go to BetterHelp. Yeah, and, and absolutely wow. BetterHelp slash BetterHelp dot com slash Lifeline. Go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that is there absolutely wow. I mean, you know, just having a stroke. Part three, wow. motherfuckers. Oh yeah, Welcome back to this the shit show bad, that dude. is my life. As you may recall, I'm the guy whose girlfriend got oh, her kids taken away by her demon of a mother. Yep. Um, Please unfortunately, be since all that went down, oh. we have since broken up. Okay. Now. I could talk shit about how she slowly undermined my confidence and sense no, of self-worth to the point where I don't even recognize myself in the mirror Basically anymore, but instead I'll just say, the breakup has gotten really messy, oh. and now it's at the point where I just want to get the fuck out of this yep. shitty little Midwest town yeah, and yeah, move yeah. on with my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My question for you is, oh. now one of her friends has recently reached out, uh -oh. asking if I'm okay, saying she's going through a breakup too, we're kind of in the same boat, and we've been talking, and I kind of think she wants me to take her to Runk City, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so, I think so. Should I do it? Yeah. Do I just be a little shitty for once in my That's life, take the rebound, fuck my ex's friend, and skip town? <laughs> That's <laughs> what do you think, guys? Oh, Jesus. I mean, well, he's laughing Thank about you. it. We love you, dude. Yeah, we do. Good for you. What a fucking crazy few months for this guy. I dude. love how he always is doing the videos before he walks into work. <laughs> and it's like, a, I don't remember him having that specific uniform. Yeah, the quality in or whatever. The oh, really? The quality well, I, I think, uh, first of all, amazing attitude for having gone through such yeah. a crazy roller coaster. So good for you in that sense. But I think that if she, I mean, look, the, the, at the end of the day, your ex-girlfriend who you went out through all this shit for and with is still the daughter of her yeah, mother. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And they clearly got some issues that they haven't worked out. The daughter probably has some residual shit from growing up with a mom like that that she needs to work through on her own. It's not surprising that she was difficult to be with. Uh, it's not surprising that, as you say, she undermined your confidence, made you into a shallow version that you were. I mean, we can blame people all we want. I'm Adding sure to it's it true, though. Making him feel worse. But like... Uh, the you piece of shit with a small dick. Getting... <laughs> All you do is eat fucking hummus sandwiches. <laughs> Dude. <it's> like... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting the point, which is you don't have to fucking feel bad at this point. You've been through so much. Do a little something for yourself. <laughs> Fuck the friend. Dude, everyone in this situation is not thinking clearly because of the situation. Don't. This is the mother of your kids. Don't. No, no, no. They're not his kids. Remember? They're not his kids. He oh. loved them and wanted to let be let in closer. Oh. But the mother and and his girlfriend. Are, oh, herself. well then, way different. Yeah, way yeah, that's different. What I'm okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, just basically. Um, I still think it's it'll be mad. you're gonna make it worse for yourself if you have sex with this woman. Fuck her, dude. Fuck her. He wants to move out of the city anyway. I, I, I yeah. Doing yeah, but he's doing karate. <laughs> I, 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 but I think. <laughs> The, but yeah, but he's talking about should I? Didn't he fucking say uh, uh, take her with him or no? Am I making that up? He's he's at the end. He made a joke no, about no, should I just joke. that was a joke. Don't, don't do that. Should I be a little shitty? Yeah, and and fuck her friend and skip town with her. Yeah, just I, I if you like her, enough, I don't know, sure. man. It's it's you know it's a little different sometimes. Like I obviously different guys have different options and maybe it's if, if shit's a little dry out there i don't know what kind of town you're in and what job you have and that's important to women and like what what you uh what what you bring to the table shall we say and if you're somebody that is like oh you know hasn't had that many partners and wants to sow some oats and you gave it a good fucking try here with this woman then maybe maybe it is the answer to 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 kind of see what's up and take her to Runk City but also you're going to make shit worse for you definitely it's going to make things worse for you you're going to bust that nut off but definitely going to make things worse for it you it sounds like it might make it a little bit better you, you might, might feel like some kind of release about like oh, i mean I got dude out of there. when you talk about it as a release it's hilarious you it know? is a release dude he's been under stress he tried to make it work with this person who made him feel terrible about himself like it's he a finally valve. got out of it and it's like a cherry on top of the exit this is the spin move fucking a friend is the spin move God, right when he busts, just <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. And then turns around. So dick. Yeah. Turns yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's just like this. <laughs> All naked and shit. You know? Yeah. Uh, fucking Runk City. You're going to become the mayor of Runk City and have a whole fucking shitload of problems. I'm telling you that just, much. Just, just, just. 
if you uh here's it here's what i would say though don't have sex with her just because she's your friend ex is yeah friend. but you know he's not look at him bro no he's, he's not like, i'm oh, just saying just to clarify could, you know i'm not saying like do it for revenge yeah. that's not at all what i'm saying nah, that's just a bad idea trying to get away you if know? it's coming at you and you're worried about being a, a terrible guy you're no. not being a terrible you're guy. not you gave it the fucking i thought that those kids were yours i, no. I remembered that they're not um you didn't remember i told you i remembered after you told me but well yeah that's remembering <laughs> isn't it technically but i mm. i you wouldn't have remembered without my aid okay so you say that and i go yeah i remember now mm -hmm. i did it um <laughs> so yeah dude i don't know man be careful if you're gonna do it do it but it's uh you gotta be careful, do it buddy. and then move time it out right go. Do huh. it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go Boom. <laughs> 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 Looking, oh, what I want, you got, and it might be hard to handle. Looking at the planes in the new city and shit. <laughs> well, I think you should do it. All right. Well, we That's disagree just there. Me, though. But okay. That's just me. All right. Do we have another one? Here we go. Daria. No. Hey, Dream Team. My name is Emily. Um, Chris, I've been in love with you for many years now. She gets and on one Matt, I recently <laughs> realized that I am in love with you. Oh, so, even better. Uh, my question is about my two and a half year old and about kind of how we should monitor what she hears, what what she's listening oh, to and God. what she's seeing. That's tough. Um, my husband and I both like good things like comedians like you that use right, right. foul language naughty, naughty and, boy. Uh, movies and music that have mm. bad words in them um and so the question is you know how much do we monitor that stuff around her because you know you can only take blippy soundtracks oh for my so God, long dude. or like coco melon shit yeah. for so no, long. i don't watch those uh Calvin and also those. just any advice on terrible twos wrangling mm. of a of a gremlin child mm. like she'll bite me one minute and then the next minute she's cuddling into my arm Aww. sounds like um, my puppy help yeah. uh i don't uh you know first of all let me just blippy and coco melon don't i don't i can't have oh, that, on, i feel hold. like that's making calvin be an idiot every time you send me a video of calvin there's always some mega annoying thing playing in the background Those that is good for ones. him those are the good ones. Yeah, bro. If, look at when you go home. Look at Blippy, dude. He okay. goes, "Hi guys, I'm at an amusement park. Oh my god!" And oh, it's like some good. adult guy. That sounds good. <laughs> some adult guy with the worst outfit on. Oh, is you it? Know? Th what, what's that guy's name? Blippy. The man's name is Blippy. Yeah. Oh, never hey mind. Hey guys, look, look at this. Huh? Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, look a monkey. What? That's what he does. Calvin's just like, oh, that's amazing. Y yeah. It, oh, because it's mesmerizing. And then Coco Melon is like the Black Hole Sun video, dude. Oh, Everyone's cool. just like. I like bread. <laughs> I like bread and the fucking. Oh my god, faces. Blippi is demented, what? dude. Blippi's yeah, scary. Look at it. <gasps> and by the way, they got a new Blippi because the old Blippi got caught in a video a, a long time ago, scatting on someone. And by that, I mean shitting on someone. What do you mean, taking a dump? Yeah, on someone. Blippi. Yeah, like he's German. Blip, of all Blippi people, Steve. Blippi did it. Blippenstein. Poopy. Das Blippi. Wow. That's Russian, I guess. Look yeah. at Blippi, that's the new one. Dude. The new one, of course, isn't white. I love it. That's hilarious. Look, I mean, that's white. A white guy. That guy, no, he's not white. That guy's not white on the upper right. Yes, he is. No, he's not. I can see him. He's white. Blippi is a Filipino. Blippi is flippy. Is that racist? <laughs> Blippi is Filipino? The new oh, one I sure see, looks yeah, like he it. He is, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, dude. He looks exactly like the other guy, though. I'm because saying. of the outfit. No, because if it's. If they were fucking standing next to each other, you wouldn't be like, oh, this guy looks like the same guy. He's well, got the sure, blue uniform. Sure, on. sure, okay, yeah, but that, Look at that's him. all the more reason. That was not right to when he was shitting on the guy, right there. Um, <laughs> so he shits on a on a guy. Yep, and then he got fired on a guy, then, as if the kids even knew about that video. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was a guy. Yeah, I think it was a guy actually. It was. Why? A, I think it was more of a prank, not a sexual thing. Worst prank ever. And that's uh, hi guys. Oh my god, today I'm gonna <laughs> shit on my naked friend. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a friend. This is my anus. Damp it up and up up down. Blippy. <laughs> so annoying, you know. That, that's less annoying than that video. Right. I mean, videos. I believe that. Calvin's sure. laughing. Is he laughing? <laughs> dude, um, <laughs> dude, so there's there's Blippi and then there's Coco Melon, which is the Black Hole Sun video. It's, it's that horrible. sounds more my speed. Honestly. What I'm saying is there's stuff like Peppa Pig. There's stuff like Bluey. There's stuff like, I don't know any of the other ones, but that is actually watchable. And I get it. It's not Reservoir Dogs. You don't want to watch. Why don't you just show them good things? Like? 
like movies you like. They're not going to watch it. Why? Because it needs to be like, there needs to be some sort of like, boom, dang, bong, gang, boom, dang, bong, gang. Hi, kids, to get their attention. Oh, no. Y- y- what are you going to show them? I mean, what are you Casino. talking about? Casino. You're just one of the Green Mile? Casino. Yeah, but then they grow up and be a fucking killer. Okay. You can't have kids watch all that and stuff. And this is her problem put in the first place. Mama, can I put your head in a vice? <laughs> like, you can't have that. You know what I mean? Mama, can you beat me with a wrench? See what it feels like and then bury me with a friend, with my friend? Uh, all right, so. Yeah, you got to watch advice? better things. Blippi and Coco Melon, if you're watching that, honestly, I totally get how awful that is, mm. right? But if you're watching stuff like Bluey and Peppa Pig, you can you can watch that for longer. So try to maximize that kind of stuff that you're viewing. And then when they're not with you, you can't. You know, if they're just, I mean, I guess they're two and a half, so it's not like they're at their friend's house watching, you know. Yeah, too young for that. Fucking scared straight. But like, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to monitor that. And I, I have, you know, if you have multiple rooms, you know, let them wander around. And when they leave the room, you turn on a little bit of fucking, you know. The good shit? Yeah, a little bit of the good shit, you know. Put on, put on Body Code starring Eric. Uh, Roberts. Roberts. I almost said Eric Griffin. And, that would uh, be a good movie. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I uh, yeah, it's 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 rough, but you know, this is part of being a mom, I guess, right? It's yeah. nice that you're in love with me, though. Well, she's in love with her husband, and she's in love with me. She said she loves you and is in oh, love in with love me. with you. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's like okay. Well, no, it's okay. better to be. I'm. She likes me more. Okay, she's that's fine. In, she's like lusting after me. No, no, no. In love is not lusting. In love is like you're lusting and also like romantically. Intimately, she's lusting after me. Intimately interested. Uh, with you, she's like, oh, I love you. Like, we love no, our no, pets. No, 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 like, no. We love our pets. She lusts after me, dude. No. If, if she saw me with the hat on, she'd be like, oh, my God, never mind. Oh, hot. my God, yeah, turn around and run away. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. She'd be like, well, I lust after you. No, she's in lust love with me. Lust is like my shit. She- <laughs> she's in love with me. All right, do we have another one? All right, cool. I mean, hey, guys. I'm obviously, you can hear your podcast Sharpie. being played right now. But my cool. question is, Sound between rappers. both of you, if you're anything like me and my twin brother, um, does he have the same birthmarks? You guys have the bond where... I don't want to say like where one gets hurt and the other one can feel it because that's kind of corny, but like where you kind of have the feeling that something may be wrong with your brother or vice versa. And also, I'm curious as to Matt D'Elia's drug use. I don't think that you do drugs, dude. Thanks. I just know Chris is sober. Oh, right. And I have no idea about you. Uh, it's weird that he would be asking about drugs. Um <laughs> Well, look, first of all, I like that guy's look. I'm clowning him, but that's fucking kind of cool, man. You look cool. Yeah. I mean, it does. Uh, that star is, I can't imagine getting a fucking. For me, it's a bit much, but yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're into that. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. You look cool. Um, so jealous. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, I could do it if I want to, but um, I don't know if, I don't know. I don't believe in that whole fucking, <laughs> you know, touch me and see if my brother feels it. No, he's, I think he means like when we're not even together. Like, well, we, we've oh. actually sometimes called each other and like, hey, I heard there was a thing over in your area. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, And it's yeah, never. Yeah. We're always okay. So that's it's that, off. If we have it, it's yeah, way off. We don't off. have the do, the yeah. the brother dar at all. I've heard twins have a thing where like it actually is yeah. sensory. Like mm. you feel the pain that they feel. It just sounds like absolute horseshit to me. Yeah. But if you're in the same, here's the thing. Here's what does happen. You're in the same. You're in the vicinity. You're in the same room, and you're so like uh, uh, genetically similar because you're brothers. That there's a thing that happens where like you you start you you can mirror your sibling because you're you're so close you know them so well you're si- very similar to them your makeup that you can in- very easily intuit what they're feeling oh, yeah. and I think the process that you're describing is is just like a a more like actual or or rather what I'm describing is a more actual and literal description of what he's talking about. Like he's sensing mm, that something's yeah. wrong because he knows his brother yeah. so well. Yeah. And that's probably what's happening. You're intuiting because you're so similar and you have so much experience with that person. It's almost like you're reading them without trying to. Yeah. You know? Like I can tell, like you could probably tell that like I've been a little bit off my game and like I've been like kind of sad lately. And I can tell right now that you're like, whoa, fucking I am absolutely the lesser attractive brother, right? Even no, though the I, she was I'm me. like, wow, life is pimping, pimping. Mm. That woman is lusting after me. Uh, and his, right. this man is curious about me and my drug use. Mm. <laughs> uh, I used to drink. I don't drink anymore. I used to drink a lot. I don't drink anymore. Worst story. Uh, I I do. 
I am known to dabble in the heroin uh, arena. Green uh, plant. I mean, just say you know. uh, known as like, so cagey. Known in some quarters as Bill Clinton. Mary. <laughs> Uh, I didn't inhale. <laughs> Jay-Z. Why do I my Bill Clinton in they're Jay-Z? Similar. It's because they're similar. <laughs> I didn't inhale. <laughs> Hove. Uh, I, I, I smoke weed, yeah. Um, I don't do anything. Sometimes, you know, prescription shit. I take a trip to fucking Zanny Island, but I've never snorted anything, never injected anything. Oh, yeah. Obviously, sometimes uh, when, I'm, when, I'm, <laughs> when you're 3,000, when I'm 30, on planes, I am known to take uh, pills. pills as well. Oops. Oops. But it was a mistake. Well, was it a mistake? It wasn't a mistake. Well, it was dumb. I mean, t- three people inside you. No. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. It just, I, I was panicking, so I took too many. Uh, yeah. But. Okay. Yeah. Do we have another one or no? Nah. Uh, you want, you want to do another one? No, we don't have to do another one. I'll do another one. I'll do another one? Okay. Yeah, I'll do one more. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so happy, this guy. So British. You think so? No. Hey, Chris and Matt. Matt and Chris, even. Uh, it's Joe oh, from Leeds in England here. Oh. Hope you can understand my accent okay. Um, I'm just getting in touch just for... I've got a bit of a neighbour issue, and I'm hoping you can provide some life advice or at least some humorous insight. Um, so basically, my neighbour, a few doors down, she's had chickens in the garden for like oh. quite a while, which... Uh-huh. You know, I can live with that. So uh-huh. British. She's now decided to introduce a rooster into the equation. Oh. And said rooster likes to make fucking noise at all hours of the day. Yeah, yeah. It can be 4 a.m. Fucking 2 p.m. Well, I'm drinking mind. my morning coffee. Cock-a-doo. It, all I can hear yeah, is this rooster crowing, man. I've had to get out of bed at 4 a.m. and close my window because oh, it's waking me up yeah. in the middle of the night. Oh, it's just doing my fucking head in, man. Yeah. Um, obviously, sure. I don't want to confront the woman because I'm English and we don't like confrontation. Um, ah. And also, she's obviously got some sort of chemical imbalance yeah, going on. Wrong, she thinks yeah. it's acceptable to have a rooster crowing totally. at all hours of the day. So, not the kind of woman whose bad side I want to get on. That but so yeah, if British. you've got any uh, advice or anything humorous to say about the situation, I'd much appreciate Dude, it. Cheers, man. You introduce a rooster. If she introduce a rooster, you introduce a bear. Yeah. I, we've been all. First of all, hold. How good is it? I'm good. Like I'm nice with it when I can yeah, talk. Yeah, you know, I mean that I, was good. Yeah, I mean I, I knew it was I gotta, British. I got to give it up. That was good. He's so British, though. Well, yeah, he is, and that's why it's good what you did. But when I saw his face, I was like, oh, you know why? Because I thought maybe he was trying to hide his teeth, right? Because you know, British. Oh. I'm not saying he had bad teeth, but I'm saying is that really what did it? No. Oh, okay, I, bro. It's just my intuition. Into it. Yeah. Into it. Like he's your brother. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. He's got a rooster. It's like it's your mantle. Cook, cook, cook. And it's like just <laughs> like she's fucking have one at like four a.m. It's like cook, cook. <laughs> and it's just like, what did I do? You know, I don't like confrontation, but cook, 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 cook. So like, uh, I think that uh, first of all, get really good earplugs. They exist. Do they, dude? Yeah, I get the ones that are like, you know, there, there's the ones that you can jam in there, but there's the ones that you roll into a really small thing, yeah, and then you put them deep in there, yeah. and then they expand. Yeah, I, I never, I, th- I don't think my ears are good. Uh, they're shaped weird. They yeah, don't fill it up because they okay. pop out. Oh, really? Yeah, they pop out. They pop out, and so do I. Can't wear uh, the Apple ones. Oh, I, I fall I, out. I bought like seven pairs. I'm done. I'm done with that shit. Give them I, to me. I wear the, they're long. They're gone. No, I'll toss <laughs> I, them. I, I wear the the things now, and every time I fucking post a story, people are like, "Bro, you can't afford the other ones." Oh, that's so. Annoying. I, I bought seven of them. You're talking about the AirPods, the ones that are it's free. Yeah, not free. I don't like those. I like the wire anyway. Yeah. Those don't fall out. Yeah, right. Because I get the it. wire hangs it down. Yeah. and hooks them on my ears. Got it. Got These it. Got ones, it. Whatever. This they're is very floating, boring. Yeah. But. Uh, maybe you could weight them down. Put little anchors on them um hearing is, yeah but i think try that try earplugs they might not work because you might have weird ears like him mm-hmm. but they work for me uh the ones you got to get the foam ones though that you put deep in and they expand and get into the crevasses uh and then uh i think that also get an animal yeah that get a dragon is that is makes prey of roosters yeah a dragon no, no like go-go-go! a it's it's insane to get a rooster in a in a populated area. Get an animal like a fox or some yeah, shit. Yeah, get dude. an animal, a dog, something that'll kill a rooster. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, nobody, you, you're not allowed to do that. That's yeah. not okay. No, it's not. Yeah, there should be a fucking honestly. There should be a whole brigade of police roosters that come by and yeah. like. You're in, the, like, you're in the wrong area. You're here, in so. the wrong area, rooster. You got to get to an open field. Keep it moving. Yeah. Yep. Get a police rooster. That's what I think. Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen, though. I think you should get, get a rooster. A predator. <laughs> put it in a police, a little police outfit <laughs> and put it out there. <laughs>
<laughs> with a billy club on its. You might want to get a few so it's intimidated. Taped on. You yeah. Know? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, that's it, dude. Thanks for that lifeline. Um, so we have a good time on Lifeline. You can go to get tickets at crystalia.com. Like I said, I'll be in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina. I'll be in uh, Denver. I got Albany coming up, uh, Oxnard, California. Just a bunch of different t- uh, dates. Uh, so go to crystalia.com for tickets. And I hit that link for the CBD thing, 10% off code Lightline, Lifeline. It's under the show uh, description. Uh, and that's it. Lifelinemerch.com for the good Lifeline merch. And mattdelia.com for your deep, dark uh, or just really private advice that you don't want to air out on the actual show. Talk to me about it one-on-one. Private for you. We're doing it big. Love you, most of you. <laughs> <laughs>